Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Academia School Simulator where in the previous episode we got our building on and as you can see we managed to do a fair bit. The cafeteria went to about this level here and we decided that that was a bit too small even for what we have but also considering that we we're going to get a lot more students anyway so we decided to expand that and that meant moving the kitchen. The only reasonable place to move the kitchen would have been here which is exactly where we put it and then because of that we had to move the clinic which ended up up the top here. We also have planned off the two areas for our next bit of expansion which will be adding in the toilets and whatever this room happens to be. Probably, I was going to say another common room but that might not be the case because at the end of the day a common room needs to be quite large so I think this is going to become uh, the really big common room but I haven't yet decided. Either way, let us crack on and in terms of research there's nothing we really need to get. It would be nice to get the renaming rights but we're not going to bother with that one just yet. We have uh, paid back all of the bank loans, so that is good. I'm also very tempted to put another field in. I don't know if we need another field, but I have a feeling that only one only one class can use the field at any one time, and having a field this size is sort of pointless, isn't it? We don't need it as that size, although we could probably do some other stuff as well. Let's go ahead and go over to zoning. Actually, no, not zoning. We'll check our blueprints first. Ruler, and then we go up there, and it is 20. So that is actually all right, because we can get to say 8 like there, and then is that 8 as well there? Hang on, that's, is that wrong? Yes, it's, it's 20. So we can go 9 to there. And then nine to there. Yeah, that's fine. And then we can have a pathway going across there. Mm, do we really need that? Not really. In fact, you know what I'm just going to do? I'm going to remove that zone as a field. Field. So, one zone, two zone. Ah, damn it. No. So, we will have to have a gap. Okay. So, we'll go to field. It'll go nine to there. And then nine to there. So there's a little bit of a gap in between. But I'm not going to put something right across it because I don't think it would be worth it. Anyway, let's see if two of the school, uh, two of the classes can uh, go on that one. I think they possibly can. Going over to building here and then to the flooring. And actually, we've already done the flooring, just the fencing, uh, the wall. So let's do that. So the toilets then. That goes across there. This is the little retaining wall. And then. We'll put the rest of it in. Toilet. Uh, female in the middle, we've got that, so. We've also got a staff toilet there, which we placed as well. It's fine. Could open with uh, unisex or neutral, it calls it here, but. We haven't bothered. Toilet. That designation is fine. And. Oh, we'll have to go down here to toilet. And then we will see what happens. Why is it not ended the turn? Because we still have. There's the dog. We'll still have a staff member somewhere. Hmm. I thought, might have, I thought it ended at 7, but apparently it must have been 8. Anyway, over to objects and then to our toilet and we'll place it in in a similar fashion to the ones we've already got in like so and that will be the toilet cubicle which will go on the left and on the right i don't know how many we have what's the gap it is oh it's a gap of one so this will go in like so the male toilet obviously a bit different because we have the rhinals on the other side which will go down to there this will increase the amount of water that we consume but it is worth it I think like so there's all I put in there and then followed by the sink which goes in the center so it's a gap of two and then the rest in so gap of two up to there rotate round and you have a rowdy student let me check that in a moment and then trash can like so all right Although the trash can should really go there. And that's always bugged me. Yeah, while we're doing it, let's overhaul the se that section. Like that. That'll be better for us, I think. So, trash can. Yes, yeah, I know we've got some rowdy students. Uh, sell that one, sell that one, sell that one, and oh look, there's some Ill, uh, Ill students, 13 in total. 
13 and tall. Where's this rowdy student? So what do they do, being rowdy? They just get sent, they just get shouted at, scolding, and yeah, they go. <laughs> right, okay. Fair enough. So the trash can can go in here. I've already set the other one up. And is that still not being removed? So these rowdy students may be causing us some bother. At least now we have, as you can see, them in both of these toilets. So that's working now. So there's a lot less a lot less uh, group up. So happy. I'm gonna double check speed well, as I say happy, let's check to see if that is the case. Going down to our delinquency just to set up some of these here. Rowdy students we've got in counselling. These are set up, that's set up. Going down to our satisfaction. Two people wasn't able to get food and school should be more fun just one. So that's actually fine. That's fine. Um what is not of concern, but what I'm checking is the is the counselling. Counselling delinquency. See, no session at the moment, even though we've got 16 set. So I don't know. I'm not too sure. Anyway, so all this bit at the top's done. Happy with that. This building on the left-hand side, not entirely sure what we could get placed in there. I'm very tempted to get these truant students. I don't know why it has a cancellation fee, because you accept it and they immediately turn up. So you can't, like... You can't do anything to really sort of fail it, can you? Anyway, staff member, I want to get another counsellor. With the addition of these students, obviously they're a lot rowdier. We've got, well, we've got rowdy students, we've now got truant students, and we haven't yet caught them. So it might be worth it us getting one, two more monitors. And I don't think we need anyone else. Let's ch I'm just checking the food here to see if the food's fine. The fact that they walk across these tables is... A little bit annoying, but there you go. See, they're going for the plates. Getting the plates. And then... That's it. Oh, they put the plates back there, sorry. Food is good. And... Only two, yeah, unable to get food. That's fine, then. So that's working out as intended. There's also some dirt that's been phasing in and out there, although that guy's got a, a mop that apparently clears uh, phase errors, so he sorted that one out for us. Excellent. <laughs> so there's all the dishes getting cleaned and ready for... Oh, that was actually the last the last food. Uh, last eat time. Oh, there you go. So they, they are running on that field. Not on the other one, though. That's understandable, I guess. I'm pretty sure that is just too small to fit this running track in. Because I think this running track's like 14 across. Let me have a quick check. It is... No, it's actually 18 across. All right. And this is only 14 across. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. So at least the clinic has treated all of those patients, which is excellent. We have increased in prestige because of, the, because of them grants that we picked up. It's uh, helped us out there. In terms of unlockable, there's not much. There's Overachiever, School Expansion, and School Tycoon. Uh, school Tycoon, you have to... Uh, must complete School Keeper and School Expansion. And... School Keeper. I guess we could... Get... School Keeper and Expansion. Hmm... Interesting. To get 500, must complete skill expansion 300. Ah, right, which is get, yeah. I was going to say, is that just unlockable from the grants? But it's not. It's actually get more students. So, fine, that's that's understandable. Okay. So, what we'll do, uh, we're going to get 14 grand tomorrow. Enough for us to probably put the wall around here. And then put some doors in and such. That's probably what we'll do. Do I get another running track in, though? It's possible we can get another run. Ah. Monitor's chased another goon out of the school. That's good. Let me just double check. We've got 30 delinquents now. I think that's the most we've ever had. We've hired two more monitors because, well, we needed to. 
Let's build then a stone wall. Like that. Monitor's chasing more people out again. <laughs> you can see they're going out that door and having to go all the way around the outside, but at least they can get that way. Place those in like such. Like so. Delete those sections so they can have quick access to it. Then all this becomes internal. Problem is there's still possibilities of them getting stuck. But we'll see if that actually happens or not. I mean, it probably will, because why wouldn't it? Oh, no. That bit's been done all right. Master of Scolding. Scold students 500 times. Fine. So we'll place all these in. No, we won't, because we're out of cash. <laughs> so I'll cancel. I'll cancel a lot of these then, because... Yep, I was going to say, people are going to get stuck, and that's exactly what happened. Right, so down to the doors... School standard school door will go there and there. Same thing for this section, and this one will have a double door in here. We'll have a double door. Oh, should have a singular door in probably there because I don't know what that room's going to be. This one's going to be our common area because, well, I think we need one of that size. Is there a middle to this? It looks like there is, which will go there and there, and that should be all of the doors they need to get out. Okay, good. That is fine. We do need to put some flooring in, and once again, the goon's being chased out. Good. So we're chasing all the goons out, which is exactly what we want to see. Um, the problem is flooring. We've got so much flooring that we've just got standard grass, and that's going to class as being very dirty if they're walking on it, which at the moment they're not, thankfully, but we'll have to keep an eye on that. We have three students who are, once again, the goons being chased out. Very much, yeah, very good. A very good thing. A comment on that one there. Can't remember exactly who it was, but they said, yeah, it's, I think it's multiple ones. Close this off so they can't get around this back here where the fields are. Good idea. And then put the patrol in here. The patrol is the one, that's the one that's really helping out, having that patrol in. Um, I'm actually going to sell these windows because they're now a bit offset from from the rest of it, so we'll remove those and we only put it in just for the beautification grant, I think it was called. Actually, I don't think that was the name of the grant, but you get the idea. Anyway, um, 1,700 and going up as we sell some windows, because remember, you always you hire things in the game, not buy it. Uh, we'll go down to the concrete flooring and we'll put the concrete floor along there. And then finally, along there. That's the bit that they can see and that they may go down. All there's, not, there's no reason for them to wander over there. I think I'll also do the same thing with the library and just sell those. So loads of truants are being caught there, so they are being escorted. Because of the amount that we have, it is taking some time to obviously find them all. And we've got a couple of them that are not in counselling. And even though it's no session, I don't know why, we've got three counsellors that should be running sessions all the time. But apparently that's not working anywhere. So that's all getting placed in there. We need to remove some of these blueprints like that. That's fine. And also those sections. That's not in the middle. I don't think there is a middle for that. Well, there will be, but it's not for a double door. 15. Okay, what I'm going to do, sell that door. And I'm going to put a double door on there and there. I think that'll be better for us. I think so. And that's it in the middle either, is it? Six and five. Okay. We'll sell that. It doesn't have to be in the middle. It just, you know, eats away at my very soul if it isn't. So... So I'll we'll place it like that. And that should be better. Actually, is that right then? Six to there, six to there. Yes, that's better. A lot of these ones we have retrofitted to be better as well, so happy. This pool one though isn't. This one was... Oh, is that a goon? Oh. How on earth did they get in? I have a feeling I know. I think they've gone in that way. I think that's how they've got in. Okay, 
I did think that was a possibility. But let's kick him out. He's probably coming that way. The majority are coming out. Hang on. No. See where he's running to? Yes. No. Hang on. Where's... I've lost him. Where's the goon? I didn't see where they went. But they went up and round. Which is weird. They must have went out one that door there and went out that way. Perhaps. Anyway. Over to flooring. Can I afford it? No. I'll have to do the walls first. I can say put the flooring in for the rest of this, but Cavani can't even afford that bit. I could get a bank loan, but there's no real point. We're getting 14 grand every day, and it is 3 o'clock anyway, so we're fine on that front. In terms of teaching, as you can see, subjects are still going up. Um, checking across the board, and we do still have the uh, the PE issue there. Um, oh, apparently they dropped out because they weren't able to eat. I'll have to check that out. I'll accept this random event here. Help a goon. A bleeding goon stumbles into your clinic. Can't go to hospital. Stitch me up and I'll make sure the goons leave you alone. So, if you say no, 15 random objects can be broken with a 55% chance. Uh, if you say this one here, if it keeps the goons away, so be it. 55% chance to, might, to lose prestige. No, it's not worth it. Tell them to leave. 15 random objects broken. Oh, dearie me. Look at all them. It is actually broken as well. So you have to, like, pretty much buy it back. That's annoying. We, uh, don't have all of the money to, I think, completely repair them. We'll do what we can. And... I may have to get a loan. Although we should be alright. Hmm. So what was concerning them, they couldn't eat, and I don't know why. There's never enough food by two people. But there should be. Hmm. Apparently the daily usage is 212. Bear in mind that we have 238 students. It's probably like they were just far on one corner and then they've had to go all the way to there and then it didn't work and then they come back and you know it's just been a couple of times that that's happened. It's probably just edge case stuff. Cause Yeah, because they go there, get food, and that's it, yeah, and then that's where they dump the stuff. Yeah, it seems fine. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the, the deal is there. See, they're, they're using it there. It's not even food time. They're just picking up food because it's there. Delinquent student has been set straight, which means that delinquency is now to 30, so it's still terrible, and not all of the counselling stuff is going on, but, you know, at least we got it set. Actually, that's it. So this person here is getting counselling, but they're not even on the map. So counselling is broken, then. <laughs> or at least in this case it is broken and I don't know why that is but there you go so just going around to repair all of the things that were busted up by the goon the funds are running low I won't take I won't get another one repaired because I think we can order it but as soon as it repairs it'll put it in the negative and then we'll have to get that government bailout thing again which I really am not a fan of there you go it was about half six there and the thing ended where it was nearly eight o'clock on the last time so anyway uh, in terms of Obviously, in income, that's uh, gone down a little bit because we've had a couple of students leave. So. We expected it to be more problematic with all of the delinquent students, but this is not a problem that I thought we'd have. Oh, there we go. So, repair all those. Those are all set. I think the majority are now repaired, which is good. Okay, and enough money to now build the rest of the walls and such in here. So the walls will go across and down. And those are all in. So we just have to put the flooring in now, which we almost certainly won't have enough 
for we're going to use the wooden flooring in the classroom this is the, these are the classrooms here and that'll be placed in like so and then we have to decide look at all the truants and rowdy students and shut up 100 rowdy student events in your school and that was a bronze achievement i believe yeah so in terms of silver we're still there master of employment hire five of staff in all of your schools no and doctor department all departments must have a doctor degree teacher that's one we can get phd teacher actually no why can't why is that grayed out might have to complete other ones first 25 roots in one school we can do that one's on the go secure 506 students so you know what a lot of these silver achievements it's just time now for them it's just time um in terms of the flooring then for these rooms we have five rooms in total this one will become the common area this is going to be another common area so that's fine we then have two rooms here which we currently don't have any use for and there's two up here now looks like science and art and all that is fine the music room tends to be used quite a bit but i guess you could say that about like the av room and stuff i'm very tempted to have this as an av room another av room have this as a computer room although we may be able to split it in half and put two computer rooms in this one and this one i'm not too sure i'm thinking another library but we'll have to see because these rooms the music computer av all of these rooms are actually a substitute for the standard classroom so you can see the freshmen are currently here and you see all <laughs> the teachers shouting at them because they're being rude and being rowdy so they're they're math they're, they're teaching maths but the maths is also going on in the computer lab so if we had another computer lab they might go over there i'm guessing that a lot of these i'm guessing our grading will not be as good as it was in the previous year I'm guessing that's the case. I'm guessing rather that's going to be the case. There's a rowdy student. Still see they're in counselling there. But they're not. Is the game just glitched? I think it might be. Oh no, there we go, it's been set straight. And a bullying incident somewhere. Oh yes. So I'm just wondering why these two these two are not doing any counselling. They're all doing paperwork. Hmm. I don't know. I assume you can have multiple counsellors. Seemed to work previously. Probably just a little glitch. Anyway, not too much of a concern. Going to check our sanitation. It is a little bit dirty, but nothing of great problem there. In terms of food, seems to be working out okay. In fact, I like that layout better than the previous one anyway. And all of these do need flooring in. We've rowdy students, yeah. So there'll be rowdy students. You can see, look at that. Half of the half of the class is delinquent for freshmen because, well, it makes sense. We did accept twenty delinquent students 10 rowdy and 10 truants so it's going to take a while for that to uh, be sorted so i'm guessing that a lot of these students the freshman students will be returning from uh <laughs> for next year i think yeah i think that's what end up happen a lot of them will return yeah we also have a much bigger school now i mean originally we start off with this little plot here wasn't it basically. Well, we start off with the whole thing, but it, the original school was that. Where well, we had the field in here, just built the swim pool. We expanded all the way around that side. For Oh, that's broken. Let's repair that. Um, speaking of that, actually, let's still check. So, we've got water, income, 2,100, expenses, 3,000. Okay. So I'm going to go to build uh, objects and I'm going to put some more ice pumps in. <laughs> put two in. 
mainly because I can only afford the extra two. And let's see what that's like. I think it's 300 each they make. 2,700, there we go. That's obviously altering the amount of electricity as well. So we'll have to have another wind turbine in, or two. But we'll see. Currently, quarter to four. Just about the end of the last period there. To link with students, I've been set straight. Down to 25 now. And of those, seven are rowdy, three bullies, 13 truants, and one smoke, uh, two smokers. But we're setting them straight. If we can get to under 15, I'll be okay with that. Ideally, under 10 is what we need. But this will have an adverse effect, certainly, on the students' learning. Day 4, and you can see we're, at, uh, we're not in half for a lot of these. And you see freshmen... Yeah, they're a lot lower down on certain certain subjects because they're delinquent. They spend a lot of time going back and forward between the classroom and the vice principal's office because, well, that's just what it's like. So how many do we need in terms of the water pumps? Nine is what we've got. Only got. I'll put another one in and we'll see how much that does. It does say water cost minus 300. So that would take us up to 3,000. We're currently using 3,089, so that would be acceptable. But electricity, we are currently producing, I think it was 1,350, 1, and we are, yeah, 1,350, but the usage is uh, 1,400, which will also go up as we put another water pump in. So we still won't be on positives for the water, but the rest of it, we should be all right. Unless I just put two in now, because we're going to have 14 grand. That's probably the way forward, isn't it? So one, two, and then turbine, one. And we can't sell the grid, because that doesn't exist anymore, I don't think. At least I haven't seen it. So there we go. So we're, we have a, actually an excess of water and an excess of electricity now. So that means, as you can see, our expenses are... Not as much. We have caught some smokers and such, but I'm guessing, yeah, look at that. So we're down, we're down to 18 now, so that's pretty good. No rowdy students. No rowdy students. We've managed to completely and utterly stamp all that rowdiness out. So hopefully that won't affect the the classes as much. I'm going to go over to building and to the wood panel flooring. Place a bit in there, a bit in there, and then spend probably more money than we have. Oh, no, six grand for that. So... Nope, can't build that. Truant has been caught. This is good. You can see they're all being caught and now being escorted. Probably to the vice principal's office. I'm guessing they're going to wait, aren't they? Yeah, so... No, don't do that. That's really bad. Next. Don't do that. That's really bad. No, no, they just walked out. Um, and they're just... Yeah, oh, there we go. Now they're... Don't do that. That's really bad. Here's another one for you. Okay, just put them in the filing cabinet. You <laughs> Um, right, so that was all of those truants, which means, yes, we can put some more into counselling. 12 truant students in total, none in detention, two free because we haven't caught them. And these just don't seem to want to run the sessions. Either way, I think we will leave it there. Not too bad at all. All of this on the left-hand side done and some other extras as well, which I'm pretty happy with. In terms of income if we wanted to we could easily build these classrooms here and get more students in but i'm not not totally happy with that i don't think that would be a great thing to do at this stage but we'll see how we get on next episode as i said we will probably put the flooring in here here and here and then work out exactly what we want to have these set as and then think about building the classrooms ready for the next income like the next student intake. We're on halfway through day five of year nine. So that's okay. And yeah, this is this has been adversely affected. Look at history. History's right down on a lot of these, and I don't know why. Okay. 
I'll have to maybe have a check of that as well. Either way, we will leave it there, and next episode we will see how far we get on, as always, if we have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.